All right, now we're looking for the equation of the line going through point negative two and four. That is parallel to the line y equals two x plus six. So we're finding, or rather we're looking for y equals mx plus b, a new line that is parallel to this one and goes through this point. Lines that are parallel have the same slope. So that means that our m is just going to be 2, since the slope of this line is just 2. So let me write that down over here. That's 2. y equals 2x plus b. Now we just need to find the y-intercept of our new line that goes through this point. And, and I'm also going to um, explain the solution graphically afterwards. OK, so let's plug in negative 2 for x and 4 for y, solve for b, that way we're going to find the y-intercept for the line that we're looking for. So 4 equals 2 times negative 2 plus b, so 4 equals 2 times negative 2, negative 4 plus b. Now we can add 4 to both sides of the equation. These go away, 4 plus 4 is 8, so b is 8. So that means that our new line is y equals 2x plus 8. Now we're done. That's what we were looking for. But I will also explain the solution graphically. And first I will graph the line y equals 2x plus 6. I'm just graph it in green. So we have a y-intercept of 6 and a slope of 2. So over 1, up 2. Okay, so let me graph that. Actually, whoops. Um, is that accurate? Uh, not too bad. There we go. Okay, so we have a slope of 2. And we wanted to find a line that goes through point negative 2, comma 4. And I'll graph that in red. So negative 2, comma 4, right here. And we need it to have the same slope. So the slope is 2, of course, so that we have parallel lines. So over 1, up 2. Over 1, up 2. Over 1, up 2. And right away we can tell that our y-intercept is going to be 8, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, right here. So we were right in our solution. But I'll just actually graph this to show the lines. That's it. So here we go. The red line is the answer, y equals 2x plus 8. That's it.